I think they just um, make people feel happy and in a hospital environment where art is used to help people get better and faster. Um, it's a, a, a hugely significant contribution to the overall aesthetic of the um, environment in which patients and hospital staff and visitors have to operate. I don't know a lot about art, I just get what I feel. Um, it's the same when I go to an art gallery. I don't understand, but I can. I have my own feeling towards it. I'd just see something different in a picture, I could see. Um, but I, it's, it's wonderful, it really is. You wouldn't sit in a, a room at home with nothing on the walls, would you? So it's, it's, it, it's lovely. wonderful art that they ought to have access to that they might not unless someone makes it possible. So what could be more wonderful than going to a cathedral and listening to beautiful singing of a choir, going to a big concert or going to a gallery and seeing beautiful pictures. Sometimes people with dementia get cut off from that kind of art that can make a difference and can really, um, really help your soul, help your well-being. Talking point, which is lovely, because I love to do, especially the big one in the client room. I don't think there's been a group of guests that hasn't asked, you know, what it means. Yeah, I like the pictures. Yeah, I think that the ones which are Gelkin have got are a wee bit more, um, more to think about than the other ones. Yeah, but I like them. I think just it, cre it, it creates the atmosphere, it helps support the atmosphere that we want, and you know, some kind of interest that people can talk about and get engaged in. to make people feel better in a kind of in, in a healing environment in a hospital it's not going to do any harm is it? It's great to have art in hospitals. I, luckily I don't have to go to a hospital very often but if I'm visiting somebody I love seeing all the art there and I think it just makes people realise